am Caress Divine. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're not, thanks for coming back. Well, today, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a full face of only Maybelline products. I haven't used the Maybelline for a very, very long time. You know, that's like probably one of the first products that you try because it's on the more affordable side. Um, I've used only their like foundations and their eyeshadows and their mascaras. So that's pretty much everything. The only thing I have, oh, and their lipsticks and concealers or whatever. The only thing I have not tried from Maybelline is the Maybelline New York, New York. I'm always twisting and making my own words. Maybelline New York New Master Prime by Face Studio. Primer. Now, as you know, I'm on here struggling trying to find a really good face primer. Last time, I, the last video I just did was the, um, the Milani brand, and that was a no-go. Look at this. I got a little Rudolph, the red nose going on here. That broke me out. So, I'm now trying the Maybelline brand. So, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over it. Once again, I love the fact that they have the safety seal. That is a big plus in my book. So, let's peel that right on off. It smells so good. It feels like it's not like thick. Now next, I'm gonna be showing you, well, I'm always dropping something so clumsy, <laughs> as always. But anyways, I'm gonna be showing you this Eye Studio Brow Pencil from Maybelline. It has a spoolie on the end, and it has a nice pencil on the other end. So, the interesting thing about this is that it's a natural wax pencil that creates fine hair-like strokes for your eyebrow. And then the spoolie part, of course, is great for blending and grooming out that harsh line that you're creating. It's going to give you a nice, soft, natural finish look. At first, I was a little freaked out because I thought it was too dark, but it ended up working out okay for me. Next, I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. I feel like that's such a long title. I'm just going to use a little bit of this to put under my eyebrows just to clean it up a little bit. That's going to give you a nice natural glow under your eyebrows too. Next, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Eyeshadow Quad. And of course, it comes with the two little soft tips for applicators for uh, your eyes. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my brush, of course. And I almost forgot to uh, say that I didn't purchase a eyeshadow base. I didn't see one at Walmart. So I just ended up using the concealer on my eyes. And let it dry. So the first color, and I'm going to be going in order with these colors. Because on the palette, it actually has like the crease, the liner, you know, the highlighter. It has like the steps on the eyeshadow quad. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go step by step and apply it on my eyes. And I'll see if I can find like a little picture so I can show you guys up close a little better what I mean by it has step by step. And like this right here, it has number like what's the crease. So I'm just gonna take my number 217 and pop that right into my crease. So if you're like a beginner person in doing makeup, like I said, this is a great quad to start with. Now for my liner, I'm just gonna go in with that brown color and it actually has liner on there. So I'm just gonna take a small brush and just smudge it as close as I can to my eyelash line right there just make sure you're really gentle when you're applying it on I'm also going to use this mascara packet you can use a you can use some tape or a card to give you a nice cut line almost like when you do it like a liquid liner but we're doing it with the powder the powder <laughs> as always making up words okay so now I'm going to be using the Maybelline fit me foundation in color number 315 I like this one because it said that it was for um, oily skin. So this is supposed to be like a magnifying liquid formula. It's good for ideal normal to oily skin. So that's what I ended up going with. They had another one for dewy skin, which my skin is too oily. So I did not need anything any more dewy than an RDM. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to go back with my concealer. Now, this is supposed to have like a lot of good ingredients in it. It's a super concentrated treatment concealer that features a micro corrector application to help instantly erase dark circles and fine lines. I'm going to make sure to pop something in here to explain a little bit more of the ingredients for you guys. 
I'll try to make sure to insert that in the video. Now for my lipstick, I went with the Color Sensation Nearly There. This is a nice beginner friendly lipstick. It's not too bright, not too much going on your lips to make you feel uncomfortable or not confident, but it's nice and nude. So this is a great beginner lipstick. Now I'm gonna take that nice liner color again and pop that right underneath my eyes to warm up my eyes a little more. Now for my mascara, I went with the Black is Black. This mascara has been in the game for over 40 years. It's supposed to be America's number one mascara. Like I said, I went with the Black is Black. <laughs> but it gave me lots of volume. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was short and sweet. If you have any questions, just make sure to comment down below. As always, love you.